Welcome to the Watcar Tow Car Awards 2022. Once again, we've partnered with the towing and caravanning experts at the Camping and Caravanning Club to put everything from small hatchbacks to high performance SUVs through their paces with a caravan in tow. Once again, the caravans in our testing were provided by our technical partner, Adria. Here are the winners split into five classes by weight. And if you want great deals on any of these cars, then go to whatcar.com where you can also read more about the Tow Car Awards. Small cars rarely tow well, but the Skoda Scala is an exception. Compared to its rivals, the Scala felt the most stable and composed while towing. It does take a while to get up to speed, but what the Scala's one litre engine misses in pulling power, it makes up for in refinement. If the Scala does have a big weakness as a tow car, it's hill starts. But the Scala's other qualities make up for this shortcoming. It's very roomy, so adults can get comfortable in the back, and it's got a large boot as well. It's also affordable to buy and to fuel, and in our favourite SE trim, it's an awful lot of car for just over £20,000. And it's even cheaper if you buy it through whatcar.com. The Seat Ateca has turned into a regular favourite at the Tow Car Awards. Last year, the all-wheel drive diesel won an award, but this time it's the turn of the two-wheel drive 1.5 litre petrol. In this form, the Ateca is much lighter than the car tested last year, but it still tows extremely well. The stability was particularly impressive. It would have scored even higher if it could manage hill starts better though. It's very easy to spin the front wheels, even in the dry. But in everyday driving, this 148 brake horsepower Ateca hits the sweet spot for performance, economy and purchase price, especially if you choose SE specification. But whichever spec you go for, you'll be impressed with the big boot and the neat tow bar installation. The Skoda Karok is one of those cars that tick all the right boxes. It's a superb all-rounder with no glaring weaknesses. With a curb weight of 1,614 kilograms, it's heavy enough to make a sensible match for a broad range of caravans. And the combination of four-wheel drive, a punchy diesel engine, and an automatic gearbox makes for easy hill starts. With 266 pounds foot of pulling power, it easily pulled its Adria caravan up to speed and solid straight line performance is matched with excellent stability. In daily driving, it's quiet and comfortable as well, and it's nice inside. Adults can travel comfortably in the back seats, and it has a massive boot. The Audi Q5 is an excellent tow car, proving solid and secure hauling a caravan around. The 40 TDI diesel engine makes a lot of sense for regular towing, with the strength to pull its Adria caravan from 30 to 60 miles an hour in 10.6 seconds. As an optional extra, you can get adaptive air suspension, which includes a specific setting for towing. The car is still very comfortable on its standard suspension, but this optional extra does show the Q5 at its best. Inside, it's beautifully made, the rear seats are roomy, and it's got a generous boot. You'll need deep pockets to buy the Q5, but strong resale values mean the monthly finance payments are more reasonable than you might think and the diesel engine promises modest fuel bills, aided by its mild hybrid technology. Diesel may be less popular than it was, but as electric cars and hybrids continue to evolve and mature, this Kia Sorento shows there's still a place for a good turbo diesel. With 325 pounds foot of torque, this Sorento will easily pull any sensibly matched caravan up to speed. There are quicker cars in this year's tests, but this dependable pace allows the big Kia to maintain momentum with ease on hilly routes. When you're not caravanning, the Sorento is enjoyable to live with. It's not the sharpest SUV to drive, but it handles neatly and rides comfortably. The interior has masses of storage space and seating for seven as standard. Having tested both the plug-in hybrid and diesel Sorento, it's the diesel we'd choose for towing duties. It has a much higher towing limit and it's better value. The Kia EV6 is what car's overall car of the year for 2022, and in these awards, it's also our favorite electric tow car. Both rear wheel drive and four wheel drive versions of the EV6 share the same 1600 kilogram towing limit, but the dual motor all wheel drive model has more power. That makes it one of the quickest cars in this year's tests. But stability is a much more important quality than speed and the EV6 certainly inspires confidence while towing. The EV6's biggest shortcoming as a tow car is one that's shared to a greater or lesser extent by all the electric cars we've tested, and that is the range on offer. 
Using a route with a mix of high and low speeds and some stops and starts, we found the EV6's towing range was just 101.5 miles. As with any of the EVs on test, you really need to be fully committed to running an electric car to put up with the inconvenience of frequent recharging, unless you only ever tow very short distances. Anyway, it's good to drive, nicely spec'd, has loads of space, it's the best electric car for towing. What makes the Ford Focus Estate the best estate car here? Well, for a start, it's got a great boot. On top of that, it's a very secure and stable tow car. The mild hybrid petrol engine provides strong acceleration, but the Focus stops even better than it goes, with good feel through the brake pedal and a short stopping distance from 30 mile an hour of just 9.7 meters with a caravan in tow. ST Line Vignale spec is relatively expensive, although you do get a lot of kit for your money. If the list price is still a bit steep, you can have the same engine and gearbox for considerably less if you opt for a different trim. Plug-in hybrids often can't pull properly big, heavy caravans. But if you do need a FEV to act as a tow car, then the Hyundai Tucson is the best choice. Its maximum towing weight of 1,350 kilograms means a reasonable range of caravans are still sensible matches. Its maximum towing weight of 1,350 kilograms means a reasonable range of caravans are still sensible matches. From the driver's seat, you'd swear the Tucson could handle a much heavier load. With 261 brake horsepower, it's a relatively powerful car, capable of towing from 30 to 60 miles an hour in 8.7 seconds. It really does shift and still impresses with the battery largely depleted. This ability to run on electric power really comes into its own in day-to-day -day driving, with an official electric range of 38 miles. It might look more like a camper van than a tow car, but the Volkswagen Multivan is one of the surprise packages of this year's tests. And while the petrol engine may not be the obvious choice for towing, its 201 brake horsepower output makes for strong performance. The Multivan towed its Adria Caravan from 30 to 60 miles an hour in 10.7 seconds. Once up to speed, engine noise settles into the background and the Multivan feels stable. Inside, it's very spacious and comfortable. Seven seats are standard, but you can go for a six seat layout as a no cost option. This year's field was packed with great options, but the 2022 tow car of the year is the Audi Q5. With 201 brake horsepower and 295 pounds foot of pulling power, its diesel engine is ideally suited to towing. And thanks to mild hybrid electric assistance, it's cleaner and more efficient than older Q5 models, returning 44.8 miles per gallon in official tests. More importantly, the Q5 is exceptionally stable. It doesn't seem bothered by the weight of the caravan behind it at all. It tows serenely at motorway speeds. Inside, the build quality really shines through. It feels every inch the premium product, something that a posh badge on the nose doesn't always guarantee. The interior is roomy as well as plush, with plenty of space for adults to get comfortable in both rows of seats. There's lots of luggage space too, so you won't need to travel light when touring in the Q5. This isn't a victory based on brand appeal. There's real substance to the Q5, with a near ideal blend of performance, stability, and practicality. So those are the best tow cars for 2022. To read more about our testing and the awards, go to whatcar.com where you can also get a great deal on the next car that you want to buy. Thanks for watching. If you want to see all of our new car reviews, then make sure you subscribe to our channel.